Hi, this is Eric Martin Report Game Geek. I'm here with Katarina from yeah. Crowd Games. We're looking at a mock-up right now of Ganesha, yeah. not final production quality. Okay, it's still a prototype. Okay, but we can learn how the game works. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's what so we want to know. Ganesha, for those who don't know, it's an Indian god of wisdom and good stuff. And what we do here, we have two boards, and we will uh, play uh, placing cubes from uh, the uh, altar, so called market board, okay. to the mandala. Okay. So uh, yeah, on your turn, you can you do several things. First, you take cubes from your from the board to your personal board, and then if you wish, you can place the cubes of one color to the mandala and score the points. Okay. Yeah, right. so that seems very straightforward, but yeah. there must be a lot of complications or... Yeah, so the rules are for the place, and you can usually take just one cube, so any color you choose it, for example, I want red. Okay. Oh, sorry, take it, and I put it here, and let's say it's my next turn. Uh, what I can do now, because I placed a cube here, I can take uh, any cube, and then any adjacent cube of this color. So okay. say I take green, and I take another red. And for example, I put this like this, and on my next turn, I again have to choo can to choose. Yeah, I can either take uh, any and then adjacent red, and then any or adjacent green. Okay. So, but it's never that I can take more than two cubes. Okay. Maximum of two. And what about placing? Say I have this here, and on my turn, uh, I can to choose to take my cubes from the treasury mm -hmm. and put them on the mandala on the the color, uh, the spots of the same color. Uh, there are two ways to do it. Either I take all the cubes, discard one and place the rest. Okay. So just starting always with this uh, thing. And I place the, uh, score the amount of points, so it will be seven points. Okay. Or there is a second option, I can always, always discard a yellow one. Then I discard the yellow one and I place three cubes and put them and I score seven plus four, so it's 11. Okay. Yeah, that's mostly it. The game is like made for families and it's pretty simple. But the amount of uh, points is uh, located in such a way that you always have to look what's left on the board, what does your opponent have. And the board is refilled uh, every three rounds. So we have this token here, we rotate it every turn, and after three rounds, we refill the board. Okay. Yeah, so and you always have to see what's left. Okay, and play until the board is full, or? Uh, we play until the, the uh, if we are two, we play uh, 12 rounds. If we are three or four, we play nine rounds. Okay. And yeah, then we see, but uh, the, the amount of cubes uh, in the bag is never more than their uh, spots here. Right. So yeah. Okay. And there is all also the small like expert variant. Uh, we can also place these tokens on the board before filling it with cubes. And then, for example, I take a cube from such a token and I get some ability. I can get a score extra point. I can switch cubes with someone. I can put one, uh, one cube yeah, back oh, to the bag. Back the I can draw one to the bag. Some just if you are, know the game quite well, you can yeah, do it. Okay. That's mostly it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quick overview of Ganesha coming from Crowd Games in 2020. Thank you. Welcome.